So we got the Republic of Dagon, composed of five states. The Congress will have 450 seats, but it will be divided unequally among the five states according to their respective populations. And they're asking us first to find the standard divisor. To get the standard divisor, use equals sum to get the total population. So down here, I'm going to put a total and I'm going to do equals sum for all of these populations. And I get that the country has a total population of 630,910. So then we take that total and divide that by the total number of seats. So we can say that the standard divisor is going to equal the total we just found. So I will click there first and divide by 450. That's the total number of seats. Gives me this standard divisor. So that is the answer to part one. Now to get the standard quota, that's in column C, take each population and divide by the standard divisor. So in this position, standard quota, we say equals the population and divide it by the standard divisor, which I've painted gold. However, we need to tell Excel that the standard divisor will always be the same number, even if the population does change. We need to tell Excel that the gold number is a constant. To show that the gold number is a constant, on your keyboard, look for the special function keys near the top. You'll find one that says F4. I'm gonna press that, and that's going to put dollar signs on this J11. That J11 represents the gold box, and the dollar signs are telling Excel that that standard divisor will always be in that box. Then we press enter, and we get our standard quota. Now we wanna do the standard quotas for all of the states though, so we click back on the standard quota. We move our mouse into the bottom right corner to get the black cross. Then we click it and drag it down. And we'll get standard quotas for all of the countries. So I'll write that down. Divide each population by the standard divisor. But remember to use the F4 key on the standard divisor. use the black cross in the bottom right corner of the selection box. This will give you all of the standard quotas. Now to get the minimum quota, use an Excel formula called round down, where we put the number to round comma zero. OK, we want to go to the nearest lower whole number. So we'll go to minimum quota, say equals round down. Parentheses. Click the standard quota we just got, comma zero to show that we want no decimal places. 46, good. Then let's auto complete that using the black cross once again. Now, once we have gotten all the minimum quotas, we need to make sure that's the right number of seats. So now what we'll need to do is do another sum on the minimum quotas. If we have 450 seats like we're supposed to. So equals sum of those guys. We get 448. Now, 
we have 448, so we have two fewer seats than what we're supposed to. So we need to round two of them up. So we need to pick the ones with the highest tenths place. So let's examine the tenths places in the standard quotas. Well, we've got a point 0.4, a point, another point 0.4, a point 0, a point 0.6, and a point 0.3. So that point 0.6 right there is definitely the highest of them. We've got a tie in the next position, though. Point 0.4 is the next highest, but because of that tie, we have to go on to the next place, 0.47 and 0.47. We have another tie, so we go on another place. We have 0.477 versus 0.479. 479 is ever so slightly higher. So we'll paint just this box gold. The boxes I've painted gold, we round up rather than down. So we'll say 19 for the first box and then 90 for the second box. So we're going up to 90 rather than down to 89. The other boxes are going to be staying the same. And then at the end, let's do another sum just to make sure we have 450 like we're supposed to. And there we go. We do get 450. That is a match for the correct number of seats. So that's how we do Hamilton's method. So I want to step back through here and cover what we did one more time, okay? First, total the population. Then divide that by 450 to get the standard divisor. That's what went in this box. Then take all the populations divided by the box that is the standard divisor. That gives you these. We use round down to get the minimum quota. And then we check which numbers are closest to being able to being round up. So 0.6 was the highest. For 0.4, we had a tie, so we had to go some more decimal places. But 4.79 is bigger than 4.77, so this is the one that gets rounded up. And then we do one more sum to make sure we do have 450. 